YouTube, how's it going? It's Val. I hope you guys are all doing all right. Happy Monday, happy start of your week to you. I have been going through my makeup collection as I tend to do whenever I get bored. And I've decided to film a really quick video, hopefully quick, maybe it'll be five minutes, who can say? About my current five favorite things that I've been using. These are in no particular order. They're, none of them take precedence over the other. A lot of the time I find that I have just so many things in my makeup collection that just kind of go unnoticed and I, I buy them with really good intentions, you know how that goes. I just wanted to kind of share these with you and just kind of, you know, talk about it for a second. One of my favorite things that I've been using just for about a week now, it's the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. This is just a really small version. It's not obviously a full size. I believe I got this as like a gift with purchase when I bought the Smoky palette. I wasn't initially drawn to this at all. I really thought it was just clumpy and kind of, if you could even say like a clumsy mascara, I don't know if that makes any sense. It's very feathery. This formulation is super, super, super wet. And when I used it originally, and I'm pretty much every time I use it since the first time I've used it, I've noticed that it kind of, it's very wet. It's a very wet formulation. It takes a while to dry, but I really, love this stuff like if you can just kind of master the art of patience with your mascara and I did stamp a little bit you know of the product underneath my eye it was kind of like and it just and I was you know, have that moment where like you think your mascara hits and like smushes on your eyeball next on my list I have a, a brand new love for stick foundations I discovered Lancome Tante Idole Ultra 24 hour, 36, 74, whatever hour wear foundation. And I have been in love with it. And I have gone through the ringer trying to get this foundation sent to my house. I ordered one from HSN and they delivered it to me, but it was melted completely. So they had to ship me another one, which still isn't at my house yet, which will probably also be melted, but hey, who's counting? So long story short, in the process of waiting for my favorite foundation ever in the entire universe, I have been on the hunt for a dupe, a drugstore dupe, which is super difficult to find, okay? Right now, this is my favorite one. It's Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix, okay? The, I got the color 170 Golden Beige. It ended up being a pretty decent match. I will say it's, it might be a bit pinky for my complexion, but I work with it anyway because it's so, 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 so good. You get a pretty decent amount of product in this, even compared to the Lancome version. As far as foundations go, I mean, this thing, so this part of my hand is a bit lighter than my face, which you can see clearly. But with me and foundation, it's it's a really difficult thing to fix. Foundation and me don't, we're not friends. We just, we just don't get along like that. This foundation is super easy to blend in. Like I'm talking, the finish of this is more of like a satin matte versus a straight flat foundation, which is super amazing. And it's really quick. You just put it on there. The lipstick I'm wearing right now is actually a lip pencil and it's by Bobbi Brown. This is called Pink Mauve. Mauve, 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 mauve. Really love this color, okay? I'm gonna tell you right now, if you can see the cracks in my lips with this color on top of them, they are there. It is a real, it's true. I did not feel like doing my lipstick again, so I was just like, screw it. I'm gonna post this video and just say the heck with it. This lip pencil is absolutely gorgeous, but it's super drying, and I think it's because it's supposed to just be a lip liner versus like a full-fledged lip pencil. If you want to wear it as a lipstick, I would recommend putting on a balm underneath or even a lip primer might just save you, but I really love how flat and deep this color is. I just really love this, and I'm willing to work with how dry dry it is in the end, in the future, moving forward, because it's so fabulous. So next on my list that I've really truly been loving, okay, and it's taken me forever to talk about this. Granted, I just came back last week, so you know, it's been a hot six months. I got this literally the day that it launched, the Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D. Oh my god, I am like everything from Kat Von D, like it does not matter what it is. I'm there, I was there, I'm obsessed. It's bad, like flip it, flip it. Flip flop. This one's called Smoke. This is the smoke. Now I got two of them. I got Smoke and I got Rust, I think is what it's called. But I will say this is really out of my comfort zone, which is like weird because I don't, it's good for like, I, I really like this color for a liner. I like this one for the crease color. I'm not really fond of this one, surprisingly, but I really do love this color as an all over quick smoky eye look. I just, very seriously, just put it right on my eyeball, just with a big flat shader, just throw it on there, maybe put a little bit of a contour color in there, put some a pop of bright color in the inner corner, call it a day. The reason this is out of my comfort zone is because A, it's dark, y'all. It's really dark. These are dark colors. I don't normally do like the super smoked out look, but it is really, I think, kind of 
necessary to have in your collection. Like I would tell anybody, these are $26. The quality of these shadows is absolutely astronomical. There's nothing that compares to them. In my, in my book, Kat Von D nails it every single time. You, you just, you really can't get any better eyeshadow. Just super, like what the deuce. Soup like what? It's great. It's great stuff. Love it. I got this clearly this came out last year And I don't think I've ever talked about it on my channel before but it is the love flush blush palette from Too Faced there's a mirror in there. You didn't want to see that but do we care? Oh, no, this is absolutely stinking gorgeous My twin got this for me for Christmas or I think it might have been my birthday I'm not really sure when this came out. It was either October or December, but she did get it for me because she's fabulous But I really really love this palette I don't use it enough and I'm I hate to say that out loud bringing this to the forefront and like kind of you know revisit your makeup you if you are a, a an avid makeup enthusiast and you really love buying new things when they come out and they're just really beautiful the packaging is what gets you nine times out of ten right can we just be honest here it's super thin it's got five colors I think six colors whoops I mean it's absolutely gorgeous I don't know I just I probably just sound like a rambling buffoon my favorite color out of this honestly is how deep is your love Ooh, that didn't sound accurate at all how deep is your love is it like the ocean and then I will always love you is also a really good one I just really love these they're absolutely just so stupid beautiful love hangover is really pretty it reminds me of another Too Faced blush that I have baby love is really pretty I could you could totally use that as like a bronzer this is a really beautiful like orange you know I don't even know this is like a coral coral it's like a coral color the purple one is really pretty I haven't used this one because I feel like I don't know about that but this one is also really beautiful for like the fall like I really love this color I love the deep rich colors for the fall which I can't say enough how excited I am that the fall is coming around the corner and by around the corner I mean like if the temperature just drops like maybe 10 degrees outside then I'll start making pumpkin pies and celebrating Halloween early because that's just how I roll. At any rate if any of you guys have also experienced an equal love for any of these products that I've talked about or like if you even if you didn't like them if you were just like bro those are whatever or you know just like tell me about it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching I hope you guys all have a wonderful Monday I'll see you again on Wednesday if you haven't already Feel free to subscribe below. Just hit that little button. I'm gonna try my hardest to get these videos up Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget, I have a Wet n Wild giveaway going on right now. I think there's only three days left, but I'll leave the, the link below. So thank you again so much. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.